Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. It's been a while since I've done a little what's in my bag or what's in my tote video. So today I thought it would be a fun time to do that. I have the Superior Labor Hello Tote, I think this is called. Um, it's in the color brown, obviously, and it's really hard to get it in here. But as I unload the stuff, it might uh, work out okay. So this is the bag that I carry all my journals in or things that I work on on a pretty regular basis and miscellaneous stickers. What I have not put back in there yet, which I do keep in there, I will, will show you in a minute because I was just working on it. But let's see if we can tackle this and try, try to see. So in the back, I have... A farmhouse magazine. I was looking for cottages and bungalows. I was looking for their fall, October, November edition, and I can't find it anywhere. Uh, but I did find this country sampler one for winter. So I'm just kind of waiting till after Thanksgiving to enjoy looking at this. The other thing I have in here is the English French Bible and a Kanzo Noto book that I got from Jet Pens. This one is Tomoe River paper. Bible is, for example, one side you have English <coughs> and the other you have French. And I have been working on transcribing first Peter, there's five chapters, and I'll just write some few verses in English and then a few verses in French. Just copying down. My purpose of this is to try to review the French that I knew pretty well in high school and fairly well in college. And over the decades, it has seeped into the back of my brain. So I'm trying to bring it forward. <laughs> so I keep that in there. I don't do this every day, but fairly often maybe three times a week. Um, in there, I also keep my everyday journal. It's the A5 slim or wide. And this is the journal that I write everyday happenings. This is my Olive Traveler's notebook that I got stamped at the caravan this summer. And it's, it's like looking good, isn't it? It's really getting a nice little beat up patina. <laughs> and I've even gotten ink on there. This is a book that I have really with me all the time um, when I'm sitting down to journal or read, but I um, use this as a bit of an ink swatch book, and I also use it as a correspondence record. So if I receive a package or letter, I take note of that. If I've sent something to somebody, I take note of that. So I can do better on remembering what I have received, and more importantly, um, what I've sent, and I don't want to keep, like, a, it would be embarrassing to keep sending the same thing to people. So, this is my little helper. I have shown this, but this is a five-year journal. I just stuck that in there, but um, I started it about mid-year, and I just record a highlight of each day. Okay, and then the other thing I have in here is my A5 notebook that I got from Katja in Germany. We did a little journal exchange some time ago, and I have been using this A5 journal that was made in Ukraine. Um, the cover was. I use this to do my 52 sevens journaling challenge. Periodically, I embellish the pages with this or that. My friend Carla was so kind to send me this lovely um, hand stitch leather tea notebook, maybe a year and a half or so ago now. And I've mixed it up. I had my um, Bible study notes and things like that in here. Now I am holding in this my journal ephemera. So bits and pieces of things that I stick in my journals or on collages. And I have just thrown in here this wonderful French notebook that Katja brought me back from France. I think it's like a school book. 
It's got all these grids and each grid has lines to it. From a, something I read elsewhere, I think this was designed to help students with more precision in their handwriting. I haven't had a chance yet to try it out with my fountain pens, but I am very excited to do that. Then I have my little coffee journal, which is in a Chic Sparrow cover. This one is called Pelican. I do have fun journaling in it, and I've turned it into my coffee log. My friend Donna made me this adorable little folder, and so I keep some receipts and tabs and maybe stickers and stuff when I get them to use in here. Also, I keep in here this Endless Regalia notebook, the Graffilo notebook, some miscellaneous papers. These are things I like to do ink swatching on. If I'm playing around with a new color or want to test it on different papers, I just get out this stack of stuff and kind of see how I like the inks on different papers. Also in here I have word stickers because sometimes I add those. I add these more to my um, collages, but they're in this notebook or this tote, so I'm not sure why. A couple star stickers. I like to add those to my collages. A couple stickers, one from my husband, and then all of these state stickers that I bought because I thought they looked cute, but I forget they're there, so I need to put them somewhere where I'll see them more. I have this B7 natural sample set from Paper Penguin Co., which needs to go with the swatching papers. And then uh, my friend Raina sent me these stickers, and I also add these to journal pages or collage pages. So that's what goes, oh, oh, one more thing. My Fjall Robin pencil pen bag, which I keep a little bit of an assortment of things in, so they're handy. I always use these black Sharpies for doing my dates. Sometimes I like to add little white dots or accents to pages. This is a tweezers that has a really pointed end for helping with for me, for stickers that are hard to do because they're real thin. Highlighter, glue, and a cute little ruler from Daily Grace Co. Um, I like to have handy, instead of getting up and down and coming to my craft desk, I can just have it with me. We can just stick this all back in. If you can see, we'll try to make it a little more organized because, you know, you get in a hurry and you throw the stuff in there and it still works but I kind of like like to have it a little tidy this is super handy I love the cloth this kind of canvas it is a really nice bag I have shown it before but I like I said I thought a little update might be fun it has these wire things so you can really kind of make it go more round more rectangular it also has these hooks if you want to attach a longer strap to it. Let's see. We'll put that there. It's feeling snug. I almost could use something a little bigger. And then the Bible, French Bible, I think. Okay, I'm gonna move this one here. I actually keep this green olive one out because I really do kind of depend on it in a way. I mean, it's just a handy tool. It's like my little secretary. Um, but it, yeah, I mean, so you can maybe see this all fits. Adding this last one makes it just a little bit tight, but I think, I think we can do it there this guy here. Alrighty, so that is my everyday journal tote. This is something I keep on my craft counter and I just go to this, grab what I want, or if I'm gonna maybe watch a show or something while I'm kind of messing around with some of this, I will grab the whole bag.
And then the magazine, I don't think I'll put back in there. I'm gonna put this with my things to read pile. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.